Uh, I'd now like to invite Abhimanyu Saxena, who is co-founder at Scalar, to address the graduating students. Abhimanyu is a seasoned entrepreneur, technology leader. He's currently, currently a co-founder at Scalar. And also interview bit, a robust coding, coding platform for interview preparation. Prior to his entrepreneurial endeavors, Abhimanyu played a pivotal role in the meteoric rise of Fab.com, serving as a founding engineer for the company that achieved unicorn status at an unprecedented space. His, techno his technical prowess and innovative mindset stem from his academic background as an alumnus of the prestigious IIIT Hyderabad, a premier institute for uh, computer science and engineering education in India. So thank you so much, Abhimanyu, to be, for being with us today. And please share with us a few words. Thank you so much, Dr. Jonathan. Uh, and hello, everyone. I'm very, very delighted. And uh, a lot of congratulations to all of you uh, to be the first graduating batch of Skiller University, all 51 of you. I think this today is an important moment to be able to reflect back on the journey you have had right, last couple of years. Uh, I'm sure today all of you would be able to remember a lot of moments of joy, uh, you know, Eureka moments when you are learning a new algorithm, you are solving a complex data analytics problem, you are learning a new fantastic ways of solving interesting problems in your machine learning, uh, you know, your neural networks, etc. right. And also a lot of moments of despair. I'm sure a lot of you would have sacrificed sometimes a little bit of your sleep, sometimes activities that you would have otherwise wanted to do to just focus on the learnings and the you know, journey of becoming an expert in data science domain that you took. While it would have been a lot of hard work from you, I'm sure it would have been a lot of support and motivation from people around you as well, your families, uh, your friends around you. So I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to reflect back on today and just see that how many new learnings and capabilities you have developed. Right? Overall, I think even just the subject of data science, machine learning, AI, today what I see is that world is at a, another inflection point. If we look back at the history of humankind, there have been few moments which fundamentally transformed how human society evolved. Few thousand years back, one such moment was probably discovery of wheel, which transformed how human society evolved. A similar another such inflection point was when languages were evolved, when humans started communicating with each other, right, and exchanging the ideas and preservation of knowledge they had. Third such big inflection point in my opinion was invention of printing press that it gave us an ability to preserve and transfer the language saved in knowledge across continents and across timelines. And a similar such inflection point is happening today with the invention of AI, the latest advancements in AI and machine learning that are happening. Because fundamentally what is doing is that language so far had been primarily a mode of communication for only biological brains. And slowly that is breaking that barrier, barrier and entering into machines as well. The lit, I'm sure all of you have explored things like chat, GPT, etc. in depth and you would have experienced how powerful it is. Last six months, I myself have been overseeing implementation and implementing myself a lot of advancements into the quality of education that can change with the use of LLM. All of you, it's very, very powerful that in some way I find all of us are super fortunate to be building very deep and expert skills in the same domain. You know, imagine the time when language was invented and people who were deeply ingrained in just defining the language or probably a few hundred years back when the printing press was invented and people who were owning printing press, press or were in-depth technologists 
experts in the domain of printing press in a way it comes with a lot of responsibility it comes with not only great powers in your hand but it also comes with a lot of responsibility that you ensure that you apply these skills that probably only very small percentage of people in the world today have right and ensure that it is used for the highest possible impact for the world and society around us right often we think of our learnings knowledge in different time windows sometimes we look at them in let's say windows of few years that what kind of impact it might have let's say on my career what kind of new job that i can get to, into but in reality at least in my experience and then uh, other panelists here of course have lot many more years of experience in world in life than me which they would uh, emphasize on that generally the impact of knowledge that we have is much more than you know the impact that you will observe in a year or two right so i'll close my note with this so one part was reflecting back on journey so far but also thinking about that how fortunate we have with the kind of opportunity that lies ahead with the knowledge that you have built in this program and what kind of impact you can create in the world in the coming decades because one thing that i know for sure that world is going to change a lot in just next 5 to 10 years as much it would have changed when the wheel was invented and the rate of this change is very very high so take this with you another very powerful thing is that i want to talk about is this group this community the 51 of you we have mr k maria who has a rich experience of probably 25 30 years leading a large teams at across at really large companies who is graduating in this batch which emphasizes the value of lifelong learning right that learning never stops and we have very very young brains like harshvardhan for example who graduated very recently and now got accepted into one of the top us universities for his for their higher studies right it's a huge spectrum all of us who are together in this call it's a network it's a community to cherish lifelong because not only in this period of your studies you might have interacted multiple times with each other but even for decades to come i do hope that many of you stay in touch uh, build great things together uh, and most importantly keep learning together